Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. What I want to cover in this module is how you can change the time scale, which is this sort of calendar on the right there. How you can add that time to the tasks, how you can format this line, how you can change the duration into hours, and how you can change the actual total into hours. So first of all, let's put some times on these tasks. So if I put two hours, seven hours, etc. So all you have to do is just put H or HR, five hours, and it will just do it in hours for you, four hours. And then you can see the bars have come down. But if I want to change the timeline to change this to one, to one row and in in hours, not, not minutes and not days or weeks as it is now, I just need to double click on it. So I'm double, double clicking on the timeline. The default is for it to be on two tiers. So I'll change that to one tier, which is the middle tier. And then you can change that to whatever time frame you want. So we want hours, so accept hours. And then click OK. Scroll to task to bring those in a little bit. And you can see the hours there. Now it looks as though you're working over lunchtime because this is this gray area is non-working time. But if I double click on the gray area, you can set that to be in front of the tasks. So it then sort of disappears and you can see it's a clear break. And also if you want the duration at the end of the task, if you double click on this white area, or you can go up to format, whichever, whichever, double click. You can change what is displayed, resource names, but we haven't got any resources, and just put duration in there. And then you get the duration at the end like so. Now, obviously, this is still saying days. So I want to change that to hours. I need to go into file options and schedule. And then you need to, where it says duration is entered in days, you need to change that to hours. And then you click OK. And then that comes up with the duration for this day, which is seven hours. These are all going on at the same time. Um, so seven hours. So that's how you change the time scale to minutes. This is the lowest time scale you can have. And same with this. And how you display the actual hours on the tasks themselves. Now, if I quickly create myself a resource, because this applies, I'll just type Bob and assign Bob to um, one of task one. I'll just assign him to task one. What, what can happen is you can change the timeline in any, any table. So if you need to see how this breaks down. So Bob's on that one. I'll put Bob on this one as well. It's going to be over allocated, but it doesn't matter for this example. Now, if you want to look at that in task usage view, you can go down to um, task usage down the bottom there, or you can pick it up in the view bar. And again, your timeline is not showing this as a the hourly breakdown. So you do exactly the same. Double click on the timeline, change the tiers to one tier and then change the duration to hours. And then you'll get the breakdown for the resources in hours. Now, same problem is you lose your task, but you can just quickly click on the task tab and then scroll to task, and then you get the hourly breakdown for those tasks. And if, you, if it is an over allocated of resources that you're trying to sort out, this is a good way of looking at that because you can see where the over allocation is Bob's down for task one and task two at the same time on these two hours. Obviously, you can't do that, so somebody else would have to do that. But you can see the breakdown quite clearly in hours. So quite often when I'm doing resource allocation and I've got multiple people on tasks, that's what this is the view that I come into so I can sort out any issues that I might have. You might, all want, might also want to use this view as a split screen where this is the bottom part of a um, split screen. So if I go back to the Gantt chart, I'll show you what I mean. So if you um, want to 
show this as a split screen just click on details on the view tab and then change this to resource usage and you'll get the same thing so you just basically need to highlight the task at the top there and on this one uh, well both of them actually scroll to task and then that should bring it into view and you can see the red showing you where your problem is and that's what you have to fix and then once you've done that you go back to view remove the split and you're ready to rock and roll so that's all i want to talk about on this little exercise hopefully that was of use to you and i'll see you on the next one thank you for your time